Let me tell you something. Uh, beware of false prophets. You know, a lot of times there's a lot of false prophets out there. Uh, the Bible says you got to test the spirits. You know, people uh, calling us on the prayer line. Well, the prophet of God said this. The prophet of God said that. I had this one lady calling from the south and she was telling me, always telling me, you know, the, the prophet said this. And I got to go here because the prophet told me this. I want you to agree with me in prayer. And, you know, I'd be like, encourage her. You know, sister, you got to seek the Lord for yourself. So one day she had called me up. Again, she was telling me about the prophet of God says this. Prophet of God said that. And she's always going to different conferences seeking a quote unquote word from God. And I just felt compelled in my spirit to, I just tell her, just stop her. I said, sis, can I pray for you? She said, yeah, sure, brother Ray. And immediately, I don't know, I just had like, I, I guess you'd call it a righteous anger. And I said, in the name of Yeshua, that's Jesus, every spirit of false prophecy, I commanded to manifest right now. And you know, she started growling. She started growling loud. And then I called that spirit to come out in the name of Yeshua. And she started spitting up. Now I'm in the car just driving, praying for her. But see, people always, like I said, they get enamored when they see a prophet, maybe tell them their address or tell them all about their past and their history. But you know, there's been witches that have come to the Lord, repented and came to the Lord. And they have made us privy of what a lot of times goes on in the spirit realm. Now, the Holy Spirit will do that too, but they came out and would tell us that. Did you know that each and every person that Satan a lot of times will send monitoring demons to follow them around? Okay. And they, there's a network. There's a, a communicational system in the satanic kingdom. And they will monitor individuals and they can network back to a psychic, uh, you know, to a shaman and tell them. I mean, they have a better uh, communicational system than Verizon, than Sprint. OK, a lot of times we think that, you know, uh, a lot of these um, demons are operating, you know, with primitive technology. No, they don't. Their technology is way better than our technology here on earth. So then, you know, the Bible says to trust in the Lord. Lean not on your own understanding. Acknowledge him in all your ways. He'll direct your paths. Well, what do you think Satan's trying to do? He's trying to direct people's paths. And that's what the Bible says. Ephesians 4, 27. Don't give place to the devil. When you go to a psychic, when you look at a horoscope, you're giving place to the devil. Okay? You're giving place to Satan to direct your paths. And he's always going to make things look rosy and, and prosperous. But, you know, the Bible says that Satan will appear as an angel of light. So that's just a quick nugget word I wanted to share with you. Just remember, trust God. Don't lean on your own understanding. Acknowledge him in all your ways. He's going to direct your path. That's Proverbs 3. Okay, 5 through 8. Okay, praying for Father, you. Father, we Love just you. thank God bless. you so much. There's no name above your name. I wouldn't serve any other name. Yeah, sure, Mashiach. There's power in the name.